In this video we're going to look at a simplified moment curvature procedure. We'll start by looking at our stress distribution across our section depth. Um, we'll have our concrete stresses and we'll represent our, our steel stresses with uh, our steel force T equal to our area of steel times Fy. Um, our concrete will represent in a couple different terms. First, the depth of our neutral axis will be KD. Next, the height of our compression block we'll call K3 times F prime C. And finally, we'll have the distance to the centroid being uh, of our com compressive stresses equal to K2 times KD. Uh, so then we'll have our total compression compressive force equaling the uh, integral from 0 to KD of uh, FC B DY. We can next find uh, the depth of our neutral axis by um, considering equilibrium. So we'll consider our tension equal to compression. So our tension we had our ASFY and our compression we have our integral from 0 to KD FC B DY. We will approximate the area of our integral using a factor K1. So we'll take K1 times KD times B times K3 F prime C. And this will be equal to our A S F Y. We can then use this expression to find the depth of our neutral axis by solving for KD. So we'll find that our KD is equal to our AS F Y divided by K1 times B times our K3 F prime C. And you can see we have uh, several different um, constants in here. So our K1 accounts for our stress block shape. So we'll call this a, a shape factor. This accounts for um, what we'll call FC max, or the uh, maximum relative uh, compressive strength. We can then substitute uh, this expression for KD into our moment expression. Um, so we'll find that our moment is equal to AS times FY, so our, our force, which is T times our lever arm, which in this case is D minus K2 times KD. So now substituting in our KD, we'll find our moment expression. AS FY D minus K2 AS FY over K1 B K3 F prime C. We'll next want to define our tensile reinforcement index. We can define this as uh, AS over BD times FS over F prime C. We'll next need to uh, rearrange our moment expression um, so that we can get it in terms of our uh, tensile reinforcement index. So what we did here was we multiplied by F prime C over F prime C. We multiplied BD over BD and then we factored out D from our expression here. Um, so then we can rewrite this in terms of our omega. So M equals omega B D squared times F prime C 1 
minus k2 over k1 times k3 times omega. And now we have a general expression for our moment based on several uh, constants that we can um, experimentally derive. So these constants can be um, experimentally de derived, and uh, they were in work by uh, Hognestad, uh, Rush, and Matic, which we'll talk about in the next section.